Hello folks, this is Alex from the Timelapse Guy and this video is a beginner tutorial for editing GoPro timelapses with GoPro Studio. Next week there will be an advanced tutorial with Ella Timelapse and Lightroom 5. Have fun! As a beginner you don't need to spend a lot of money on expensive editing programs. In this video I'm using GoPro Studio which you can download for free on gopro.com. At first you need to import new files. To test everything I do on this video with GoPro Studio you can download the exact same time-lapse raw media from my Dropbox. The link is in the description down below. You can use the media for free. After importing the files to GoPro Studio, GoPro Studio is automatically building a reference movie. For this tutorial I'm only using a short version of the media you can download on my Dropbox folder. So the first thing you do after importing is going to Advanced Settings and make sure you're using the image size of the source file. You can use every quality you want, but the source file is the highest quality. I always speed up the video two times and add motion blur to get a smoother video. Make sure the quality is set on high. Now add the clip to the conversion list and convert the clip. This will take a little while so I'm going to skip this here. When it's converted proceed to step 2. Drag the file to the timeline. You can see it automatically gets cropped down to 16 to 9, the standard YouTube format. The original image size was 4000 to 3000, so that's 4 to 3 and now it's 16 to 9. At first I go to framing and set the picture section. I want to see more of the sky, so I move the picture vertically. As you can see here, the clouds are not moving fast enough, so I'm going to speed up the whole video two times. As you can see, now the clouds are moving way faster. Now I'm setting the white balance. Here in the bottom section you got some presets. I usually start with the preset for Protune and edit the preset. I lower the temperature to a blue tone so the sky gets more blue and I add a little bit more yellow in the tint. Now I lower the exposure so you can see the sun clearer. As you can see, the foreground is really dark now, so I lower the contrast that you can see the foreground again. To add more color to the shot, I add more saturation. The whole shot was taken with a really flat color profile, so there are not that many colors in there, so you can edit more. Just play a little bit with this controller till you found what you like most. Take care that you're not adding too much color there otherwise it's going to look very unrealistic. In the end I simply add a little bit more sharpness. Now check the whole video if you like it. Uh, I'm going to lower the saturation here because it looks a little bit too yellow. So now the time lapse is ready to use. Everything you have to do now is to click on the export button, name the video, then you have to set the preset on custom and use the maximum quality. Check the image size you need. I'm using 4K video. Now click export and wait till GoPro Studio rendered your video. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you liked it. Please tell me in the comments if you want to see more tutorials on this channel. Click on the screen behind me to see how I filmed this time-lapse and I see you in the next one.